Hello to all my friends out there. Well, I was out walking around, and when I got home, my Hello Fresh box was there. I go, what? Last week it came on Thursday, but after this happened, I kind of remembered that it was supposed to come on Wednesday. So I thought I would let you see a couple of shots of the garden pretty soon. But I got this um, nice palm tree by the dumpster. And then I have two chocolate mint plants. But they have issues with um, worms, like a tomato worm. So my son is going to spray them for me as soon as he comes over. So then over here, I wanted, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, Shoei. My rose bush, I bought a month down rose bush, you know, generated a rose. So I was really happy about that. So oh, that's awesome. So let me remove my plants. Let's see if this is going to work. No, this is not going to work. <sighs> out here, out here, palm trees are expensive. And that is a $20 rose bush, but um, I got it worked down for five. So I went to go out into the garage, and, and my Hello Fresh box was there. All right, let's see. It's 18 pounds. So here it is, if you've never seen one. And I told my son, it's like Christmas in July. I loved it. Okay, so let's see what. I have some icy, some tasty iced tea. So let's see what happens. So um, I would like to thank the two people who ordered the Hello Fresh. They got a hundred dollars off, and I got ten dollars off on my box. So that was great. I hope you guys like it. I really like it. I think it saves money because everything is contained. You don't have to buy food at the store unless you want to buy something. So it has been decided that I am keeping the entire box this week. So basically, this is enough food for a week. It's for this box. I told my son, order me the, the smallest order you can, which is this 18 pounds, and just let them send me whatever they send me. I eat anything. So let's see, what do we have in here? Okay, these are the recipe cards. Oh, what is this? Special offers. Last time I got some awesome stuff, treats for dogs. You know, I really didn't um, intend on doing this because I always um, planned on linking when I got around to an Amazon Prime. So that's still happening, but also Hello Fresh. So what is this? Let's see. Oh! What is this? Naked wine, $100 wine. If you're a wine drinker and you order, that would be a hundred dollars wine and a hundred dollars off. Now what? I've offered. Oh, look at this. Hello, fresh subscribers. Thirty-six bottles for thirty-six dollars uh, plus free shipping. Zero sugar, zero sweeteners, and zero. Calories, yeah, that sounds good. And what is this? Oh, and this is another of these hands-on, you know, various things for kids. Uh, this might work out for us because we like to buy the baby gadgets. All right, let's see what the meals are. Ooh, this looks good. This looks good. Cheesy smothered mushroom chicken and mashed potatoes with roasted carrots. Take a look at this. I found the meals to be really good and they give you everything you need here. Take a screenshot. 
and then the recipe is on the back and all kinds of tips. I am saving these. Um, in theory, you could have 365 different meals a, a year. Cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, one thing uh, um, we said we liked was the uh, food was the meat was high quality. All right, now sesame soy pork bowls. Yeah, that sounds good. And you know these um, these bowls that you make are really really easy to make. And then what I'm doing is I'm following the models. And so I learned last week for two meals is a half cup, half cup rice. And here is how to make it. You can take a screenshot. Sesame soy pork bowls with sriracha, mayonnaise, and cilantro and crispy onions. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, also, you know, I have pork tenderloin and I have plans for that. Oh, these look good. And what my plans are is making some tamales, some pork tamales. Beef and cheese tostadas with green bell pepper, tomato salsa, and hot sauce crema. I found clotted cream today. I'm so excited. I'm going to make some scones. I was going to make scones for this and have that clotted cream, but then you know it was Christmas. Here's how you make it. See all the uh, recipes? Another thing is some of us didn't know, but the serving uh, size for vegetables is two and one half small potatoes, two and one half carrots. So when I eat celery, I only eat one uh, celery stock, but I'll be uh, increasing that to two celery stocks. Ooh, homestyle chicken and biscuit pot pie, yes. Here's a good one, you guys. So you can get the recipes and you don't have to buy a HelloFresh box if you don't want to. But after you see this, you're probably gonna want to. I wish I would have discovered this a long time ago. But I didn't. Okay, so what's in here? Okay, so the first thing is they pack up everything so it stays nice and cold. So now let me move the box so we can uh, put this on the table. Uh, between the garden and the Hello Fresh, you know, the, the groceries are just like no big deal. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Okay, the first one is home style chicken and biscuit pot pie. That sounds good to me. What I like is it's meals in minutes. So what I do is when I get my uh, box, I put the meat straight into the freezer. Okay, so you have a little package of celery. Oh, nice, fresh thyme. That's a lot. Oh, this. oh this is um, sour cream, a little package. They give you just enough. Uh, they give you generous portions. Okay, biscuits, a little package of biscuits. So once you know the ingredients and the uh, recipe, you can make it at home. Okay, and the onions are nice. A nice onion and two carrots and then there's some packets oh there's a garlic clove in here uh this is chicken bouillon it looks like the liquid that's the better ones and this is oh this is nice flour wheat flour it tells you exactly how to make it Okay, now look. Okay, this is the sesame soy pork bowls. Okay, I'm into bowls. You know, you get a bowl of food, and what's really nice is if you have some left over, you just put it in a bowl and, you know, eat it the next day. Now, there is a lime. 
there is, oh, there's some fresh uh, cilantro. Oh, this is nice. There's some, oh, these are the crispy onions, crispy fried onions. Carrots, they give you liberal amounts of vegetables. Jasmine rice, so on the rice for two people is a half a cup. I didn't know that. Um, Asian sesame dressing. Um, sriracha hot sauce. Mayonnaise, so they give you various forms of fat, which you need for proper nutrition, and this must be soy sauce. So that is the, the, what is this? Sesame soy pork bowl. And what's really just really nice is to eat something different. Like if, like, uh, if you watch my meal plans, it was hamburgers, hot dogs, spaghetti, meatloaf, tacos so this is just nice now what now we have beef and cheese tostada oh. Let's see what do they give me i have a feeling this is gonna up my uh, tostadas okay so they give me nice these look like fresh tostadas so that's awesome a nice bell pepper a tomato so if you guys want to make this, oh, another nice big onion. Cheese, plenty of cheese. Uh, sour cream. Uh, the sour cream was nice last week. What is this? More cilantro. I might dehydrate it if I have some left. Uh, Southwest spice. Lime. Another sour cream, um, hot sauce. For me, being so cheap, the food is a better quality, so I really love it. Beef, beef, um, liquid beef bouillon, and chili powder. And the spices are liberal, so I really love that. And the food is nice and cold, you know, when it comes to you. So that is the beef and cheese tostada. Number four meal is, what is it? Cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. That sounds good. So like once you learn all these recipes, you realize they're not that expensive to make. But you don't have to buy everything, so that really saves. Okay, I have a nice package of mushrooms. More, I found these, um, green onions to be nice and I cut the tips off and I planted them in my uh, garden. If I remember, I'll show you. Two carrots. No, three carrots. And then it's five small potatoes. So your potato portion is two and a half small potatoes. So if you're just eating one uh, potato, that's half a potato short so you don't want to do that because that kind of stuff leads to overeating. I have some uh, Hello Fresh Monterey Jack cheese. I have this sour cream is really good too. It's not the cheap stuff. And then this is chicken stock. So uh, if you guys I don't want to order the Hello Fresh. You can still have all of the uh, recipes and you can still make this at home. But if you do want to buy it, you might as well get $100 off. And then I get $10 off of my book. Now, uh, this is what I like. Look at this. They give you um, ice packs, two of them to keep your meat cold. I have chicken cutlets. Okay, I had pork cutlets, and the cutlets are little, uh, liberal. They're not little bitty. And chicken breasts. So these would be with no bones. I love that. Uh, ground pork. 
So let's see, this is 10 ounces, five ounces each. So you figure four ounces is, um, is a half a pound. So they're, no, a quarter pound. Four ounces is like a half a cup. And ground beef, and this is uh, 10 ounces. So my son said the ground beef was really delicious. So that's the, the meat. So um, I wanted to enjoy life, of course. So I had some iced tea. I was gonna do something more fabulous before it was Christmas in July. So what I did, not knowing, was I stopped by Wendy's and I bought a chocolate ice cream, large, so it could be like a shake. And I put um, frozen strawberries and blueberries. And then I asked them for a straw and a spoon. So I could drink it like a shake. So I could enjoy life. So I could look. Uh, thank you to the follower who encouraged me because... When I was putting this garden in, I was in so much misery. You have no idea. And I kept thinking, then you can enjoy your living space for many years. And today there was a comment that says, oh, you get deathly ill and you're going on a cruise. I get deathly ill when I fly. And what I do is I fly anyway and I get sick. But uh, when I start out on the cruises, I'll go on a three day cruise. Okay, in case you wonder, I buy this um, plant food at Walmart. It's pretty cheap, but you can see my plants are going through it. And then because my mint plant had insects, I bought this. And uh, just to make sure there's no infestation. And last year, this is more... Um, if you don't like too much pesticide, I buy this at Walmart, but it doesn't work that good, to tell you the truth. So now I just want to give you one more shot of the recipe, and then I'll show you my garden. Okay, home style chicken and biscuit pot pie. You know what's, oh, let me move my hand. This is what you need. This is what you need to make it. And you can take a screenshot of the recipe. So this gives me six recipes now. Awesome. I bought some good cookbooks. I'm going to show you guys some recipes too. One is over 100 years old and the other is a Mormon cookbook. Uh, the plan was to sell them on eBay, but then the plan changed to keeping them. <laughs> Sesame soy pork bowls. Okay, I like this because I like the, the bowl thing. No dishes, too. And the pointers are really helpful. Tomorrow I will uh, post a link in case any of you want to get this. Or you can just get the recipes right off my channel. Okay, now I am going to try to give you guys a shot of the garden, if I possibly can. I told you guys I used to fly and for me you know I get so car sick if any of you have had operations you know like you know you're in severe pain and the narcotic is masking the pain kind of but you're still in pain that's what it's like for me with the, the, the motion sickness medicine but since I travel so badly, I just have to endure it because I could never go anywhere. I've been like this ever since I was a kid. I'd feel better if I was the type that could uh, throw up. All right, look how massive my uh, plants are. It's unbelievable, actually. 
look at my I already harvested one um, squash and I also have if I can show you where is it well there's an eggplant that I can't find right now okay and here's another tomato plant and there are a few bugs that's a pepper plant I saved one succulent and uh, here's my watermelon plant there's some tiny watermelons and you know my tomatoes are coming along and this is the area where I had to haul the dirt and I asked my son to bring me a little extra because for some reason there's you know some kind of erosion that goes on here i don't know how that happens let me give you a little shot maybe you can spot the coyotes are out there i heard them the other night okay if you guys want to order a hello fresh i put a link you can get a hundred dollars off and then i get ten dollars off my uh, boxes please like comment and subscribe and god bless you all